Happy Thanksgiving! Yay! We're gonna go to Buku de Beppo to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Just the three of us. We love Buka. And we love coming here on Thanksgiving because the food is amazing. And the best part, you don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. There's Buka. I think we're like the first people here. In case you guys have never been in Buka before, this is Buka de Beppo is the full name. It's kind of like eating in your kitchen. It's designed like a house, you know? Pagliacci. Better look out for that clown, Seinfeld. Jesse's smiling. <laughs> Mary's smiling. By the way, if you've never been to Buca de Beppo before, it's a family style Italian restaurant. And for Thanksgiving, this is the menu. So you get for 54 bucks, which it says serves three, it actually serves a little bit more than that. But you're getting turkey or ham and gravy and potatoes and stuffing and green beans and cranberries and pumpkin pie and you can add on other things. So we normally add on like big ziti and a salad and everything. I love coming to this place. The food is delicious. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's always a ton for leftovers too to bring back home. And it's fun. It's a fun place. It's really kind of empty right now. You know, we waited too long to get our reservations because we weren't sure exactly what we were doing for Thanksgiving and we ended up coming here instead of going to see other family and this is what we're doing. We're staying local this year. So here you go. So in order to fully embarrass Jesse, we got this light up buka cup. Yay! <laughs> the salad has arrived and the garlic bread. Jesse's eating garlic bread. Get that garlic bread. You're gonna smell us later for sure. It's right through the video. So this is our little feast. We've got garlic bread, we've got ziti, we've got sweet potatoes, potatoes, gravy, cranberries, turkey, stuffing, and green beans. Bread. Jess is gonna eat it all. Yeah. Bread again. Even though I said bread already. Oh. <laughs> I'm eating it all. Yeah? I'm eating it all. It's happening! Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. All of that pumpkin beer, Halloween. <laughs> All of those pre-Thanksgiving warm-up meals from Wawa, those sandwiches, the sandwich of Earl, Earl sandwich, whatever. It's all warming up for this. Let's get it on. By the way, this is the after picture, and this is after a couple of servings of multiple things. So that was absolutely insane. Look at the Beppo is hands down. Okay, just making sure. Oh yeah, the bomb. <laughs> Definitely the bomb. Mary licked her plate. <laughs> And now it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without some pumpkin pie for dessert. Those are our leftovers. There's only three containers. That fourth one is for another slice of pumpkin pie. Mary doesn't like it. So we're gonna take you through Buka. And Buka you can eat in the kitchen. But here's another room. And you walk through the kitchen. You see where they're making things. Everything is delicious. Oh, I made a wrong turn. We can go out this way. And there's another room with the bar. And then you have this wonderful statue that's peeing. That's awesome. That food was unbelievable. I actually feel like I ate so much I'm gonna get sick. So that was awesome. And I can't recommend Buca de Beppo enough. If you live in Orlando, the one that's on uh, 1792 in Maitland is phenomenal. And the manager is Joe Esposito. He's a really, really cool dude, and uh, he will make sure that you are having a good time. Welcome to the Thanksgiving edition of, eh, I'm sure that stuff will fall out of the back of my truck. It's just a big wooden board laying across the, the back bed of the truck. Why would that ever fly out on the highway while we're going 70 miles an hour? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. And it is a female. Even sweeter. And her license plate says, End the Mob. Oh boy. It's a purple classic car mob. <laughs> so now we're getting towards late afternoon on Thanksgiving, and where are we going? Shopping. Yay! Black Friday, which has now somehow morphed into Black Thanksgiving shopping. We really don't even need anything, but this is an annual tradition to see just how far humanity has degraded itself. I'm anxious to find 
people that are fighting over DVDs or TV sets that are made specifically for Black Friday that will fall apart in a year. Or sheets. Yes, sheets, pajamas too. Uh-huh. I think the game plan is, at least, we're going to try to go to Best Buy and they open in an hour. And then we're going to go by Walmart and over by Target and maybe by the mall to see what's going on. But uh, the only thing that I'm really looking for at Best Buy might be actually Blu-ray movies or uh, games, video games for PlayStation 4. And if they have them for like 25, 30 bucks a piece, then we can get them for like half price. You know, I think Black Friday, once upon a time, was a really awesome thing that everybody was like, oh, I'm gonna be secret and sleep, you know, sleep out overnight and before the age of the internet. Deals were actually good then, and now, not so much. And the other thing is, uh, post-internet age, there's really no reason to go wait online for hours and sleep out overnight when you can get the same deal online 99% of the time, even the door busters. So here we go, Best Buy. You have state police outside guarding the place. Gotta guard those top secret cheap TVs. And there's a line. The parking lot actually doesn't even have that many cars in it, so it's not that bad this year, actually. I think people are catching on to just buying stuff online. But there's the line. And the line wraps around the corner and goes back that way. So, probably from there to there is about 30 people, 40 people, maybe about 120 people in line. Uh, we're getting all the way to the back of the line. Is Mary walking all the way behind us with the flyer? The guy's walking away over there because they've already sold out of the 50 inch Panasonic, which is 200 bucks. So they probably only have about a handful of them in the store, but he is disappointed. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, good news. Apparently they're not sold out yet of the Goodwill Hunting for $1.99. That's what we were really looking to get. Also, the TI record, $6.99. They still have some left. So if you ever wonder where people go to the bathroom on these Black Friday things when they camp out, they have porta potties in the back. Look at the line behind us now at this point. It's disappeared around the back side of the building. That's crazy. People really want that Goodwill hunting CD. Props to the guy wearing the Buccaneer shirt. Yes. How many of the Goodwill hunting CDs do you, or DVDs do you have left? Sorry? The Goodwill hunting DVDs? <laughs> Check out this very detailed map of where everything is. It's the most blurry floor plan ever. But they tell you to drive around the back of the store following black arrows to pick up your TV. That's where the guy in the back whacks you with the baseball bat, and shoves you in the back of a car and steals your kidneys. <laughs> a couple of distressing things is that they don't tell you where the Goodwill hunting copies are on this. And also, whoever did this legend, they tell you like four red is the main line. Here's a bunch of red. I'm gonna get super close here. There's no number four. I'm looking for that Samsung S5 Green 3. Uh, yeah. Florida education, folks. Movie Stop just came by and, like, guerrilla marketing style handed us their ad online. But the disappointing thing is, I don't see Goodwill Hunting on here. Otherwise, I might get off the line and buy it elsewhere. So anybody wondering about shopping on Thanksgiving and the impact of moving things from Friday to Thursday? This is kind of the final line. We only got about four minutes left before we go in. See the line goes all the way down to the end and wraps around and it wraps around all the way over there. And this is only for like the last hour and change after we got here. People keep showing up. So just so you should know. <laughs> Based off of line reaction. Farting online is not socially acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> the girl in front of me told me that's not nice. <laughs> the line's moving. We're that much closer to getting to Walmart. Goodwill hunting, here we come. Oh, we're stopping. Everything is exceedingly calm at this point. Well, I hope they have that Goodwill hunting CD. <laughs> <laughs> So it's still relatively common here, but most importantly, they got space chimps for two bucks. They've got it! Oh my god, Goodwill Hunting! How about them apples? How about them apples? Yep. This 
this where I pick up that uh, $200 TV? Good news, sweetie. They do have the Randy Orton 12 rounds movie. <laughs> I feel like checkout should be a lot faster. You know, even on Black Friday or Black Thursday, it's still got like three cashiers for a But good news, all kidding aside, I did pick up Big Trouble in Little China on Blu-ray for four bucks. That's a win. I really can't wait to watch that movie again. It's one of my favorite movies. And for record, uh, Mary is not a fan of Big Trouble in Little China. She doesn't know what she's talking about. So we're checking out, and they have the donate cards for uh, whatever charity, childhood cancer. And it's the craziest thing that I'm able to pluck this out of everything else. Paige and Bailey, NXT WWE. <laughs> All right, time to go to Walmart. Yes, it's the perfect time to start stocking shelves. Oh my God, they have that Madagascar movie we're waiting for. We better start camping out here. Madagascar. Is this stuff part of the uh, Black Friday sale? Because I really wanted to get that Yoohoo pack that was put back in the wrong place. It's movies and video games and games and movies. That's what this section is. And everybody just swarms around the packages and wait for them to rip the plastic off in another half an hour. This is the swarm for video games. It's not too bad, but they don't have that many games. Actually, Best Buy had better deals, but they have Assassin's Creed here, Call of Duty, and Need for Speed. They didn't have that at uh, Best Buy. The crowd is swelling here. As you can see, it's actually not that bad, but when they open the plastic, it's bad. We'll get that on video for you. The Deppy Swarm has continued. <laughs> Come for the chocolate milk, stay for the video games. pajamas it's mayhem people just everywhere like nobody knows where they're going and I don't think they're getting good bargains but it's really horrible all these people are online for like TVs and stuff they go for like aisles and aisles and even more people online for stuff I don't know what though yeah just take it the only way to survive in these things is to just be completely rude and knock people over and not be polite if you can do that you can just knock it into people You'll shoot your eye out, kid. There's a definitive stench of marijuana in the store. Okay. You smell that? All right, there's a lot of neon footballs. And this is the toy crowd. Not as bad as electronics, but still pretty nuts. So with all the stuff stacked in the middle of the floors and the cart traffic, I actually have a pretty decent fire hazard because people can't move around. By the way, these guys must have a lot of bathrooms for all those bath mats. Holy macaroni. You really need like 20 of them? I like the name of this thing. It's kind of what I do when I go to the bathroom all the time in the urinal. Oh no, somebody's having a bad day over here. Oh, they're directing traffic. Everybody, you go that way, you stay over there, and we walk over this way. Yeah, look at it. It's starting. I'm gonna go to Target. We have absolutely nothing, except maybe looking at movies and games. Target seems reasonably under control. A lot better than Walmart. I wish I could have had one of these cars when I was growing up. Oh my goodness. Uh, I never did. If you buy one of these keyboards, you could send people to the moon. 
So just so you should know, we didn't film for about a half an hour because I've just been standing here staring at this particular item. Because you can infuse, like tea, or use your flavor infuser for like fruit and stuff with water, or you know, like an ice pack in the middle. Totally not on sale, but Target is doing what they normally do to me, where I'm stuck staring at this thing, potentially looking to buy it. So we wrapped in Target, it was painless, and we actually met a viewer, Daniel, so thank you so much for saying hello. I know we've said hello a bunch of times on Twitter, and it was really cool to meet you. But we are heading over to Old Navy now. I don't know why, but Mary might get jeans. Let's see how crazy it is. I found this pretty sweet pea coat. 80 bucks, half off, and Old Navy, everything's half off, so it's 40 bucks. But just in case you can't figure out half off, people, they actually have to put a sign in the store to tell people where half off or something is. I feel like there's an obligation when this song comes on over the radio that you gotta start singing. <laughs> Mary's not playing alone. <laughs> Mary blew it again. Ooga chaka, ooga ooga. She's still screwing it up. Yay! So we met another one of our viewers. What's your favorite part of the channel? Alright, it's always nice meeting people. Like, oh my god, I, I watch your channel all the time. It makes me so happy. I'm gushing. So we're gonna go to the mall. I need zip at this point. And my feet are killing me. I really wanna go to sleep. I want a nice drink. Maybe something sugary and sleep. So it's kind of funny, we came to the mall, but like every other store is closed. So like these guys are closed, those closed. And that's great. Props to you guys for closing and staying true to Thanksgiving. But that's closed and that's closed. Then you go to Rack Room Shoes, that's open, Payless, like. It's really hit and miss. So this mug has a secret thing to it. Ta-da! It's got a bottle opener on the bottom. I think every mug should have that. I like that these beer um, pints come with a magnetized shot glass in it. So when you drop the shot glass in, it goes right to the bottom. <laughs> we stopped in Brookstone. I'm in a chair that's been giving me a back massage. Oh god. I think I'm gonna move in here. It's totally massaging my ass right now, too. <laughs> Seriously, that massage chair was amazing. It was $3,000. Magnets, how do they work? I don't know who's gonna really wear this hat that says blunt on it, or chronic. Maybe Jay and Silent Bob, but in real life, that's kind of an indication that maybe the cops would pull you over for something. I can't believe that somebody would actually wear this shirt. There it is up there, too. It's like having a disco ball on your chest. Hey, we're back home, and it's about a quarter to 11. And it's been a really long and awesome Thanksgiving. I wasn't really planning on walking around so much doing shopping. Like I said, we didn't need all that much, so we picked up some games, some movies, and clothes, and some things for some other folks, but there were some okay deals. I really think Black Friday has kind of lost its luster, although it's kind of Black Thursday at this point. I felt bad for the folks that have to work. I mean, it's tough to try to say, you know, let's boycott everybody and not go to the stores. And I know a lot of folks put that on their social media accounts, like, you know, we shouldn't go to the stores and that'll teach them not to open up on Thanksgiving. But I think you've already opened that can of worms and it's no going back. Um, I would say that the most of the stuff that you would be looking for, you could probably get online, except for some of these folks that are looking to buy some giant TVs and things like that anyway. But anyway, what's done is done. Um, we're home, and what that means for us is that at least we don't have to wake up tomorrow, and we don't have to wake up or spend all night going to different stores like we used to. So the internet is fantastic. Utilize it for all that it's worth, including shopping for cheap DVDs. Anyhow. All kidding aside, thanks for watching. Um, thank you for all of the likes. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.